Okay, so she has poured three cups, which is about half of a full tray of chocolate in the bottom. And now she's gonna pour the other three cups of the mint. Now I noticed that she put the chocolate on the bottom. Do you always? I'd say about 90% of the time it's chocolate first, unless the recipe says otherwise. Okay, got it. And don't worry about covering it all because you're gonna swirl it. Don't worry about covering it all. I'm gonna do. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm gonna do um, amaretto. Okay. A pound of the amaretto and a pound of just regular chocolate. He doesn't like fun. Okay. So for okay. this, it's like a scoop up and pull over motion. You want to get the chocolate from the bottom. Sometimes you got to do it twice and then you just switch directions. Scoop and pull. About four times. About four, yeah. You said already on the I'll just... Carla Edwards is right there. Carla Edwards. You get a half pound, three I'll just and then right okay. you From here, you're taking the knife and just pulling the fudge and turning the knife. And that's just a little sample knife. Yep. From the from from right over there. The, the sample knives are kept right in there. And then from here, you can decide if you like the swirl, and if you don't like it, you can swirl in the opposite direction and just make it even more marbly. Here's the new thing they do at Buffalo. They used to, you had to round A big old like S motion almost. Very nice. Looks beautiful. And any other tips or hints? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know how to get it out when it's like <laughs> <laughs>